All right, once again, we are Unstable. Once again, coming to you live from the Dash Studios, brought to you by Dash Talk X. Live, but we're actually on tape on uh, YouTube. Dash Talk X, though. That's hot. That's the new station, right? Yeah, that's the new station. So if you're riding around in a Tesla, you can actually hear us on the broadcast. Our reruns will be playing in all Teslas at Dash Talk X. And we know what kind of people drive Teslas. Executives. That's money. So please listen to the show. I'm Mike Hill, hanging out with Claudia Jordan. Freshly moved into her new spot. Yes. yes. I got to give her an award for the fastest turnaround <laughs> ever right. on a move. Nigga, did they even put your shit in boxes? <laughs> listen, when I, once, okay, I drag my feet with things like finding the place or breaking up with someone or whatever. Oh, but once I, mm. once I figure it out, I am extremely efficient. Yes. I make moves. Yes. You moved out of your place where you were before to where you are. And I promise you, within two days, <laughs> your house was decorated. Yeah, I mean, mean, it was like done like that. Uh, yeah, done. Yeah. It's done. Boxes gone. There's no boxes. Pictures, shit on the wall. Oh, no, no, yes. no. Oh, so you don't just hire movers. You hire packers. No. I packed everything myself. My mom flew out, helped me with the organizing of everything. And I um, went to Home Depot. Got some local Mexicans. Oh, well, yeah. And um, hooked them up. Listen, goddamn it, Donald Trump ain't going to like you <laughs> no, saying Donald that. Listen, well, I'm not going to put up with this. Who did you no use? I actually pay them double what they wanted, and they are so happy. Did they bring their children along? <laughs> no. <laughs> no they stop were, it, Michael. Oh, they can't <laughs> bring their they children along. They were in a... <laughs> a hateful place. <laughs> yeah, the kids were tied up. Oh. <laughs> They were busy. <laughs> what? In the Brooklyn basement. <laughs> oh, my God. They were busy. They were busy. <laughs> but yeah. anyways, they no, were we really good. We can make jokes because it's, you know, it's over now. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's, it's really No, it's really not over. Yeah. Now the kids can be in prisons or in camps with their parents. With their parents. So the parent brings them to the States to get a, to well, seek no, asylum no. to escape from murders, and they enter at the wrong entry points because they make the correct entry points so difficult to get in. Here's the thing. I'm and very gangs, disappointed in you, Claudia. They're with their family, though. Anyways, mm. the gang members are there waiting for them where they're supposed to enter legally. So when they cross where they're not supposed to cross, they get picked up for they get picked up by customs and thrown into facilities, and they separate the kids. First of all, it's a misdemeanor, and you should take the children. Okay, it's, they broke the law when you come across. Well, first the border. of all, they <laughs> okay. have little girls. Notice they're, not, they're hardly showing any little girls. So in the facilities, mm -hmm. they've got the little five, six, seven, eight, nine-year-old girls changing the diapers of the babies. Wah. Yeah, in in the tender, what's the tender room? Is Wah. that what they call it? Wah. Tender age children. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, are you Corey Wah. Lewandowski down there? Oh no, you're Paris Denard today. That's who you are, right? Wah. So you think Wah. you think the Mexicans should just? Excuse me. Be honest. The rapists. Okay. <laughs> The rapists. I'm not, the criminals. I'm not playing this game today. Trump you guys says <laughs> that they're not sending their best. Yes. Okay. So the, the rapists that are. Yes. You got to keep it real. Who, who skedaddling over the border. Right. Skip, skipping over. I don't care if you're five years old. There's something about your eyes when you look at my woman when she walked by. Trump is on to something. <laughs> you just don't see it, man. <laughs> a little Mexican looking at my woman. What you looking at? No. I, I, Trump is on to something. I'm with him on that. Are you with him? So I'm we vote him. Republican in this uh, midterm in the, election. In the midterms? Mm -hmm. I think about it. Really? Because, you know, they, they, they showed me something. And I'm, I, it took me a while to see it. Really? Uh -huh. they, but they showed me. See, the problem is, is these people coming over here and they're taking all our jobs. That's true because there's so many white people at the Home Depots when I try to go get you know, help. <laughs> you there's know so why? many white men that because are there like, I'm know, dying to move you. No, for... because they know they can't get hired if they go there. You know they're going to go to the Mexican. You know these Mexicans are, they have, the, they're just, they just work harder. They're harder workers. You know, and, just, and white people just, you know, they're mm. good bosses. They, mm -hmm. Well, they like being in the boss position. Yeah, you know. you know what's funny? I was writing, I was kind of ranting on my um, my Instagram page the last couple of days about this. You know, it's funny the the scam mm -hmm. that the white scam? folks have pulled on the world. Like they go. I'm not gonna let you do this in my okay. watch. Well, you know what? You don't have a watch, <laughs> so they kidnap black people from from their nations. <laughs> they take advantage of the Mexicans that come over and seeking a better life and that are willing to work for like. Pennies on the dollar. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't watch. Fox. They force Asians <laughs> These are lies. to build. Trent, shout out to your peoples. Oh, we appreciate you. If it, was, if, it was, if it wasn't for your peoples, there'd be no Amtrak. They laid down all the tracks in America. They made people do this shit, right? Wait a minute, I'm supposed to be the racist. Stop it. And I they am. have the unmitigated gall. I am not involved. To call these minorities, which we're really not for y'all, you know, posse up. We're lazy. Mm, listen. But you. Fat, white, old, good old boy, boss hog type motherfuckers are the ones that is slap, you know, 
Just I cracking your whips. Oh, let which you I you disrespect the president find, of the United States of America. I did find a whip when I was moving and my mother was with me. Oh, wow. Um, oh. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to that in a second. I am not going to forget about that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you continue yeah, your rant. That, no, I, I got it. I got right. it. I was like, Mom, Whip. don't go through mm-hmm. that box. Mm-hmm. But it's just amazing how they have convinced the world, that's the narrative, that blacks are lazy. Mm-hmm. Maybe we're tired from the 400 years of the free labor they already got. Maybe our DNA is just tired, mm-hmm. boss. We mm-hmm. tired. God, mm-hmm. And they have, they have you just don't get it, Latinos. Man. Saying that they're rapists and they're lazy, but they have the they have the strongest commitment to their families. I always see them like twelve deep rolling. Mm-hmm. You rarely see a single mom. Like they're, they're men, they out there working to make a living for their families. And I know I'm stereotyping and generalizing, but it's just amazing the labels. And I'm not ta- talking to you, Paris Denard. That's very disrespectful. <laughs> what I will say overall <laughs> about society here in this country is that each and every race has its positives and its negatives. I will say that. It is some shipless black people out there. Look, no, no, hold on, hold on. No, no, I, I, no, 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 I understand. He's been really... <laughs> you hear yeah, Donald Trump? Uh, There's some good people on both it sides. Is, both, no, no, some, no. Uh, people no, are just hanging niggas <laughs> No, no, white, oh, so... There's good people so on both yeah. We're going to generalize all white people and all Asian people and all black people. Don't you think there's some there's some bad black, okay, people, black people out there? Let's run it real quick, Mike, okay. and you can answer. And you, okay. Please join in. Okay. True or false? Okay. All Negroes love chicken. That's false. My dad didn't like chicken. Your dad's white. <laughs> no. Uh, true. <laughs> no, your dad is no, your dad's white. False. <laughs> All Latinos, Latinas are amazing seamstresses. Mm. Uh, That's a difficult one. They're fantastic. <laughs> that is. Uh, uh, every Latino I've known, they they can sew their ass off. To be quite honest with you. Okay. Yeah. Survey yeah. says will, yeah. he's a bigot. That's what I want to answer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. True or false? Mm. No white women can make fantastic potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm on something. And I've, 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 I've dealt in a white I in mean, a, like if, if, she, if she grew up in a black community around You're black people. You're explaining too much. You just yeah. said, it's a yes saying, or no answer. Yeah, well, it's a goddamn yes I, or no. I, I, I've not I know a white tasted. girl named Nigga Neen that could cook really good. Nigga Neen. She's a white girl. Nigga, please. Nigga, she's, what? She's hanging around a whole bunch of black folks. They used to call her but Nigga Exactly, Neen. yeah, yeah. So like, she could yeah. Trent's our Asian cameraman. Oh, gosh. They always have cameras. He has to turn the camera around to look at himself. Can you go, oh just turn this up real quick. <laughs> he's not. He's like, Trent's like, I'm not involved in this. And. Hold on, hold on. We'll get you, motherfucker. They <laughs> always have thick calves. Oh, my gosh. You know, oh, why? Oh, my That is gosh. fucking hilarious. Can I tell you something? Once They're again. They're very strong shins. Um, just uh, have strong shins. Public service announcement right here. I am, um, you know, oh, I do not condone. Oh, he's still trying to get a job. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. Trying to keep my job. This. But my woman do got them them, them, them calf muscles. Okay. Yeah, 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 she does so, have huge calf muscles. And Tran muscles. used to have them when you dated one. Well, I'm not speaking about my exes. I'm not speaking anything. Okay, we won't so, say any. You know what? With that being said, that I don't know why it's racist when you call out certain stereotypes that are true. Now, when you you know put this negative shit on people, of course that's mean and we shouldn't do that. But there are certain things that are true about us. I mean, yeah, that yeah, are well, generally true. All right, right. So, so black people got big lips. A lot of black we do have I don't, full, but we, yeah, do, most we, we do have fuller lips. Fuller lips. All right, yeah, we naturally have bigger binds and more all muscular. Right? More yes. muscular. But does that make us like if a white person brings up uh, the fact that we're superior athletes? Then it just we, makes us it, more it sounds killable. racist because it's it's, Why do we it's get just mad about that, stressing. Though? It's stress. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do get mad about that. Why do we get mad when white because people say that we're superior we athletes? Stress. Uh, no, I'm talking about when a white person brings it up and says, "Oh man, he is just a superior athlete." Instead of talking about take away your the intellect, mentality, that's why, yeah. the intellect or whatever. So it's almost like you can talk about the things that they can do uh, physically, but you're not giving enough credit right. to what we can do mentally as well. So what I'm saying is like it's easy for us to sit up here and talk about all the stereotypes of Asians and whites and blacks and Latinos or whatever, whatnot. And yes, a lot of them are true. But what I'm saying is. Once again, and I'm not talking about the races out there, the tiki torches. <laughs> there are people out there on in every community that are horrible, and there are some good people. I know there are some badass black people as well. I grew up with some of them. Hey, I understand name that. Some. Right. My damn stepfather was in prison for the last nine years of his life for killing his wife. 
God damn it, that's bad. All Listen, right. I'm sure she was nagging him <laughs> oh, and being a problem. But be I, I love the dude. Don't let's get me wrong. Honest, have you ever had some cold coffee? I'm she's, just saying. She was uh, probably being problematic. You know I'm saying? She probably talked back oh, at too much my sass. Gosh. Mike, I think you're a little too close to the situation. Hey, Carly, I, I, Carly walked in front of the TV while I was playing PlayStation. Oh my it God. almost went down. Hey, that's can, all I'm saying. Hey, and, and on that note, Steve, uh, I did see. <laughs> and, and Steve, by the way, Steve Wilson, everybody, for everybody out there. Of course, the ladies know who Steve Wilson is because he's got his hair dyed and his beard dyed. He's not wearing. Don't wear the glasses. Put the glasses back on, dude. No, I forgot my glasses. Take the, the gla- take the glasses God. off because we've seen the comments. They like you with this new Lo- beard. They, they I told you a long time ago. Beard. They love you without no. the glasses. They are calling him. <laughs> Now, Stefan Urkel. Is very disrespectful. They said he has gone from Urkel <laughs> to Stefan Urkel. By the way, which is very disrespectful. <laughs> I'm going to call you Stefan. You, you Stefan for the rest of the show. I just want to say that that's very disrespectful. I'm, you know, I'm just saying. But, Claudia, I, I think what happened is I think uh, uh, Carly actually saw all the uh, comments because Steve put out a t- uh, Twitter uh, <laughs> Did you see his Twitter handle today? What did he say? Oh, my I'm God. sorry, I was on. Um, Hold on. Y'all, I had y'all a, keep on I had talking. a long First FaceTime all, conversation keep, today, and I was not, like, paying attention to a lot of stuff. Yeah, First keep, of keep all. talking. So I'm going to bring <laughs> this up. Oh, here's, oh. First of all. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Let me read what he just put First out about two hours ago. Oh. My girl, Carly Sine, oh, yeah, is I did a see that. fucking rock star. Yep. I'm proud to be your man. Mm-hmm. How many exclamation points? So I, like, five of them. <laughs> I want the world to know he, he spelled no wrong to now. <laughs> That's what I said. You, the K just, probably just Yeah, you forgot the K. The K, K is silent. K is not that, silent. I forgot when the you world to yeah, know yeah. during our journey that I've got your back, front, side, up, down, and in the middle. Keep grinding, baby. I see you. Carly, fit chick, hashtag love, hashtag bless, hashtag happy. Oh, what, what did you, 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 well, you, you fucked up over the weekend, clearly. What'd you do, man? No, 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 no. I just, we just, I'm, I can't be proud of my woman. But I mean, what I'm, happened? I'm, Something, that's happened. Happened. You, No, just, you put some extra sauce no, on No, no, she put out two times in a row. That's what I'm saying. She put out two days in a row. Oh. I'm happy. Oh, yeah. okay. Is that, is that I have been on the road for five days. I hadn't had none in a while. So uh, I think the reason she, day. the reason she put out is because she saw all these other women trying to holler at you, man. That you know, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, when women start looking at somebody in different, yeah, man. All of a sudden, she's like, I can uh, keep hey, my tra- man. Turn that camera over here. I want y'all to leave a whole bunch of comments on how I look. Hold on. Is this? Mm, you know, unbuzz the top. I want my woman. Un- no, 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 no. I'm, I'm Mexican. Oh. No, oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're not. You don't have a job. <laughs> hey, Holmes. <laughs> hey, Holmes. The Mexicans I know have jobs. <laughs> they work for CJ, helping her unpack right, her right, shit. Listen, I love the Mexicans. I do. They work so hard and so grateful. So grateful. Yeah. Like, you fucked up. You should have, like, really... I didn't do anything. No, you should have really catered to them when you was trying to like recruit, because like they want to work. No, Asian women are, no, are they, great, but man. They, yeah, well, see, here's the thing about they them. Are, they, they that's are. a stereotype that is true. I gotta give props. Asian to women are, yeah, well, they, they are great. Hard. Asian women are great. I knew Steve was gonna fall in love the first time because I was on the first date that he yeah. had. I who, looked who over you on their first date. <laughs> I was with somebody, her friend. It was a double date. Asian? No, she wasn't Asian. She was black. Oriental from Baltimore, Express. From, from Baltimore. She was oh, black. So you know, all black and black, black. Black, yeah. Okay. So uh, the first date, I'm looking over at Steve, and his girl is not only cutting his meat for him, she's cutting his damn bread. It was she like is, a donut, man. No, no, she is cutting his bread. I'm like, this is the first date. Y'all just met an no, no, hour no, no, ago, like and a she's donut. already catering to you. I'm like, yes, nigga, you're going to be in love. No, no, he yeah. whispered to me, like, yeah, that's the one right yep, there. The men, they love yeah. that when you do all yeah. that no, extra she did, domestic then. stuff. Yeah, so like, not even the, the first month after that, I had to do a show in New York. I was like, you want to come? She was like, yeah. I'm like, right. and, <laughs> can I tell you something else about that? So uh, when I was dating Tran, an Asian girl, when we went to New Orleans, I brought her around my black female friends one time and their boyfriends, and Tran was doing the same thing. She was cracking the shells of my seafood and all that stuff and taking the meat out <laughs> for me or whatever. Dude. The black men that was dating the looking black women like, looking what? at like, what the hell? And they got so pissed off at Tran for doing something like that because they felt like, oh, she's trying to show us up. <clears throat> she's trying to show us up. Speaking of the devil. It's a little oh, bit of ba- Answer it. Do answer. you feel like you're being babied a little bit? Answer it. Huh? Hey, honey. Put, no, put, put it on speaker. speaker. Put it on speaker. Oh, speaker phone. Put it on speaker. Everybody want to hear. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm on doing a podcast. I'm doing oh, a she shouldn't know that, but she don't know your schedule. I'm FaceTiming you. Answer. No, no, no. Hey, Carly. Hey, Carly. Put it on speaker. Hey, baby, here. Can you hear it? Go ahead. Yeah. They How you doing, Carly? You. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carly, what did what what did Steve do wrong to make him put out that uh that Twitter post he just put out there for you? I don't think she saw it yet. You I didn't. Saw you, it. Oh, you saw it. What, what, so what, what yeah. did he what did he do wrong? I, I didn't do anything. Wrong. <laughs> it seemed like he was no, trying to get he back didn't in. Do good anything with anything wrong? He just realized that he had a good woman. Oh, oh, is that all, all of a sudden? So after two years, all he all just realized. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. After two years, no, it took him. Guys 
or in general, everyone take for granted. Just, you know, people in their lives in general. Ooh. And sometimes mm-hmm. that we wake up with more appreciation than others. So Was he taking yeah. you for granted? What's this long pause, long motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> what was that long pause, you motherfucker? Get off the phone. <laughs> hey, hey, real quick, Carly, did you see the comments that uh, we got on the YouTube page from last week's show? Did you did you happen to see that? You what? Did you happen to see any of the comments that we had on uh, last week's show on the YouTube page? Oh no, I have to check it out. Oh, you didn't, hmm. Carly. Hmm, this girl, know. Carly. Did There's uh, girls they were they were noticing your man they they like the, the the beard cut down they was kind of they was kind of giving they called no, him Stefan. I don't want you no, looking at like, the page. They liked your beard shorter. Yes. They, they, they thought you were sexy. Yeah, because he had his glasses hey, off, his beard was know, short, and he had his beard let's dot. Let's take it like this. Let's take it. Let's take a a, a, a poll. Would oh. you rather be with somebody that other people find attractive or not? Oh, 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 oh there dang. you go. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah. That's no said. That's why I thought you had given them some two days in a row because uh, maybe you saw the comments and you were just a little, I'm, not that you have any right to be insecure, but I thought maybe you just like, okay. Lock it down, no, man. Yeah, I'm proud that people think he's sexy and attractive. Why not? Well, we got uh, a lot of blind people. What do you mean, why not? Because I am sexy, goddamn. What do you mean, why not? <laughs> hey, you're supposed to just take a compliment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Carl. You better let him know. I Get him, Carl. I don't want no trouble, baby. Hey, listen, so I, we gotta, I'm working. I will call you later, okay? okay. All, right. All right, sounds good. I love Bye-bye. you. Bye. Uh, what was that? Oh, I love, she I love didn't you. Say, she love didn't you. say it back. Yeah, yeah, I love you. Oh. She didn't say oh. it back. Is, it, is, oh, is that what happens at the, at the no. tea? No, you're like, yeah, I love you. I love you. Do you leave that on your voice messages, Tara? Like, I love you? No, we just, well, we always answer. She's, yeah. I don't do the texting thing, so we always, she always answer, and we like, hey, when we hang up, you say, I love you. Do you know each other's passwords on your phone? Yes, man. Oh, yeah? Is really? that right? Yeah. I don't, I don't even... She, she's most of the time in the house on my phone. Why is she on oh, your yeah. phone? Because that, that's you what You get they better do. reception? That's what they do. Is you get better reception? No, that's what they do. Yeah, well, that's good. That's what you What I've realized, too, in, in, the, in the female community... That's big. I didn't know that. That's huge. Like, we be out, like, at dinner somewhere, and then she'll grab my phone and just and type in the code and go, and you watch other women go like, you know his code? She'll be like, yeah, he... Wow. That's, I don't nobody care. That means like, y'all, you got a solid. You have nothing to worry and about. And I'll be like, oh, she don't want her to look at my code because she be all my bitches. And she be like, whatever, and just keep dialing. Maybe all, all the women be jealous. Like, <laughs> wow. I didn't realize how big that was. That's huge. When you're in a relationship, do you get codes to your men? Do you I get, give you, them my code? No. no. Do you, no why not? Do you Why? get their codes? Would you want no. their codes? You don't want it? No. Really? I don't. You don't want it? Because if you search hard enough, you're going to find it. Because, okay, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Almost everyone is going to, like, there's some things that you you know mm-hmm. mean nothing or just, like, could be an ex or a friend. Yeah. And if someone else read it, they would never take it the way it really is. Yeah. And I know it's so easy for something to go left. Like, I have friendships, like, with, you know, guys yeah. that I've never touched. But I'm sure if a boyfriend saw it, he might be like, that's a little bit, mm. But you don't know the kind of friendship you have with that person. Right. You know what I mean? But eventually I want to get to the point where, like, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's, like, when I'm ready to get married and stuff like that. You know, sometimes you just uh, over, you see something. You might be looking over somebody's show. You ain't really looking at their phone, but their phone buzzes or whatever. And you can't help. You just kind of look. Or somebody's texting. You walk up behind them. You see something in somebody's phone, a text message or whatever. Yeah. That's happened to me before when I was dating a girl and all of a sudden uh, popped yeah. up. A text message came up. Now, I don't know what kind of conversation she was having with this guy beforehand. But the text message I saw said, I wish I was in your bed right now. Right. Like, if you see something like that, you guys are just dating. It ain't mm-hmm. nothing serious or anything like that. But you see that. All of a sudden, it could be residue. It could be her dating somebody else. But are you supposed to say anything about that? Or how would you feel about that? That's tricky because, again, you don't have control over who texts you. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I could be in a relationship. And I'm very, 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 very faithful when I'm with a guy. You know what I mean? I really am. I'm one, you, I'm one, I'm one man at a time. Like, really I'm are. laser focused. But, like, I have no control if someone hits on me when we're out. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> um, I have no control if someone approaches me. I have no control if some. I've had the same number for 20-something years. So there's a lot of people that have had my number. You know what I mean? So this, so someone could just out of the blue hit me up and just see me on a show or something and say, oh, I missed that or whatever. And I'm going to get in trouble over that because right. yep. someone decided. that's decide, exactly what happens, too. And that happens. <laughs> right. So it's like you kind of, I don't really know. I think it's easy to like kind of t- take something differently than it really might meant, be meant to be. So I know I have to be open-minded. If I expect someone to be that patient with me, I have to think, okay, there could be some girl that maybe saw him on something or rem- got reminded of him and said, sends a text. And I have start World War Three with him over that. 
It's really not fair. That's why I erase all pictures, old pictures, because you know what happened to me that one time. Yeah, yeah. They, they, explain everything. what happened to you oh. one time on, a, on and, that one date. And be honest, it was an old picture for real. I'm not lying. It really was. It was. <laughs> and you were just dating a girl. You had just right, got this was the just, first time you were, It was our first, first date. date. She invited me over for dinner, and I was bragging, trying to be stupid. Like, hey, you know, because she was always like, you do the stuff with the homeless. And I was like, yeah, I'll show you a whole bunch of pictures. But I didn't tell her to keep scrolling. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You remember the pictures I used to keep in my yeah, phone back in the videos in the and videos, stuff. Yeah. But they was, that you were sent to your friends. But they was old videos. And I, we, we were just sitting on the couch and her to go, oh. <laughs> and when I looked down, I was like, oh, no, no, no. I swear to God that's old. Because there was some girl like this. <laughs> and I was like. And I was trying to explain. I was like, I swear to you that's old. But she was just like, ah, oh, well. Oh, that's yeah. it. But still, you know. And no, she yeah, ended yeah, the dinner yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah, she was yeah. like, I think we should just end the evening. I'm like, Yo, I swear that's old. But she was like, well, why would you have it? Yeah. But what, it's, I, still, it's, yeah. I, I, I have I, old stuff on my phone. Thank right? you. I have stuff that, Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Why, but, okay, so. So who wouldn't keep it? I mean, I'm not all saying. Right, it was, but but you, you don't have pictures of yourself giving a man, even if it's your man's head, you don't have oh. you don't have that in your phone. Well, I well somebody probably eating you or something like that. You, right? you don't see. Oh, we CJ, all do it. No, oh, you why have, would you hold on listen, to that? Listen. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, everybody take their mama that. done did this at least once. I like to make tapes. Yes, and you keep it in your phone. See, here's the thing. You have a lock what, on what, it. But no, what's crazy is you guys are crazy because you're 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 celebrities. You're, I don't do it anymore because I've learned my figures, lesson. I've learned my and lesson. And have you not heard about what happens on the web? What I've happens taken, in the I've cloud? Taken stuff down and all that stuff. I mean, the, people's phones get hacked. During all the time. my last relationship, I did clear my because I I had like eighteen thousand videos and pictures. Because of had those? Six. No, no. Oh, they got that. <laughs> not eighteen thousand. Seventeen thousand. <laughs> so I had a lot of old stuff in here, and they got you know transferred from phone to phone. So during my last relationship, I really was respectful. Like I stopped following certain guys that were just like you know good-looking guys on just Instagram. I was like, you know, I don't need to are follow you supposed this guy. To do that? But why are you? I, why would you do that? I did yeah. it because just I felt like it was just I was trying to take it seriously. But here's the thing: if you are if, if if you were being if you'd had no uh, inclination of trying to be with those people in the beginning before you met this person, and they were friends in the beginning, and you knew these people. Why should you have stopped? But why is you, that is that no, respectful no, or is that precaution? Well, no, no, no. Why if should you? Know why, why should you stop? Uh, exactly. No, but if you know him and you know that person's like that, why would you even no, want no, to no, be with somebody about like that? that? Sometimes I understand you can a good person with a very low self-esteem. No, I understand, but you, you, you shouldn't even be with somebody with low self-esteem like we that because all you're going to always but it happens, have issues. But you're it always going to have issues. That's why I always we've, tell people. Get to know me before you get involved with me. It sounds easy, Mike, but we've all dated uh, yeah, someone with low self esteem. Yeah, and then we get to know someone, you're like, all right, you know what? If someone goes through my shit, like, let me just, like, let's just lessen the possibility of there being issues. You know what I'm saying? That? So I was like, you know, if there's like some thotty guys I was following just because they were fine, or whatever, and there's no connection there, I'm like, I don't need to be following this dude. Like, I, I don't like a lot to follow a lot of people, anyways. Because I feel like people just try to put two and two together, and I just, you know. No, I just, they do. But, but where does it stop, though, Claudia? So all of a sudden, like you say, you're following me on, on Instagram. If I was a fine dude or whatever, we're friends. You're like my my, my, my my baby sister or whatever. And all of a sudden, it's like, well, I don't like the way he flirts with you on the radio, on the podcast. You know, everybody thinks y'all should be together anyway. You know, so I don't like, you should unfollow him. Where, where's the line? That would be someone I would break up with. Okay. If they were tripping like that. But I did this on my yeah. own. It wasn't, he he didn't ask me to do that. I just did it. I was like, you know, let me just, I wanted to clean up my shit anyways. Did you do it or the warning sign? No, no, he didn't say anything about it. He didn't say anything but the warning sign. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Listen. I'm not, I, I don't know who we talking about. I'm no, I, 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 me either. I have oh. no idea. I said my ex. I'm 45 years old. I've had a couple exes. Yeah, this is kind of random out there. Hey. But you got to be careful with the phones. I had a phone situation where I... I didn't even purposely take a picture. Like, my phone... You guys uh, ever... He purposely just automatically <laughs> just, like, yeah. is taking it on his own. Oh, my gosh. This phone's out of control. Just taking pictures all by itself and videos. Ooh! Have you ever... Um, has your phone ever taken a picture that you didn't mean to take? Like, maybe of the floor yes, or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes if you have your phone in your hand, you just, like, maybe hit the button sometimes. I was, all the bullshit happens, yeah. So that happened to me with someone. I was dating someone. And um, you clearly see my leg and his leg in the picture. So I'm sitting right next to him. Oh. And it took a picture of someone way in the background, and he thought I was purposely trying to take a picture of his friend. And I got cussed the fuck out. So, wait, wait. So, let's just be straight. You did like this so you can get a picture of a nigga. <laughs> no, no. I'm just saying that's what he think you did so you can get a picture S of a nigga sitting so you can right blow next, it up and look at Sitting right next to the guy that I'm with. So, he said, you sitting next to him. So, so, you sitting next, and you you did next like to your this. guy. So, uh -huh. I'm, 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 wait, wait. I'm like this. Uh-huh. And this nigga right Sorry, here. Carly. And this nigga right here. So you did like this and got a picture of this nigga so you can open it up and look at him later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Y'all some Wait. slick motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, y'all slick. I <laughs> y'all, believe that nigga. Y'all some slick. No. I believe you y'all did slick. that shit. Y'all slick. Women are slick as shit. Now, first look, you said a phone. Look, if you push that button I, right there, look, it turn around. Yeah. That girl did that shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Parado- look at you. Uh-huh. Never. Hey, Jesse, you right, nigga. <laughs> Jesse, you right. <laughs> Okay, I have a relationship Claude, Was, he, was he that fine, Claudia? Did, did you, did, was he that oh, fine? Oh, first of all, <laughs> the guy that I was accused of taking a picture with, I was insulted. Like, how dare you think I would take a picture? Like, it wasn't even like, I no. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I was like, nigga, mm-hmm. are you serious? Right, right. I'm like, but I'm with you. No, right. that's anyway. game. That's game. That was it's game. Right. Yeah. That yeah. was game. So then the next a, day, I was, was I was there, and I was like, head down. I wasn't looking up at anybody. I was like, oh my gosh. I don't want to get show. Yeah, that's game. Yeah. I'm just going to look down. That's game right there. That's uh-huh. game. And everybody was like, what's up, Claudia? CJ, I was like, hey, I'm good. What's good? I was like, all short mm-hmm. with people. Like, I don't want to get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Anyways, that was in the past. So I have a relationship question. Go. See, I just, uh, I just took a picture of CJ right there. I'm going to blow up a little bit <laughs> later on. That's just on us. Man. One of my girls, um, she's uh, a beautiful sister, chocolate sister, and she's dating this guy, black guy. Um, <coughs> he has never dated a dark skinned sister before, ever. He said his usual type is the light skinned Latina shit, whatever, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But he likes this girl, and they actually look really good together. They look like a nice chocolate Wakanda, like black couple. I love it. Uh huh. So they've been talking for like, Five months, okay? Talking, okay. hanging out. She spent the night with him about seven, eight times. Mm-hmm. Um, they've kissed, and they have. he has not made a move with her yet. Uh, you know, how did Hold I on. know you was going to say that? Because you said, when you said they kissed, I'm like, well, everybody kisses. After y'all five dating. months, yet, like she five said, days? He, <laughs> she said he's a very it? passionate kisser, uh-huh. and it's amazing, but he has not. So she asked him, she's like, so are you a virgin? Did they grind and kiss? No. He didn't even no, grind no, no dry grinding. Yeah, no, he hasn't grabbed a hip, a thigh, and ass. Nothing. Five months, and they spent the night. You said so. Well, she's on, so on. she's frustrated. Did, he, did she double down on the head though? She oh. See, they, so there she, you wait, go. wait, 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 okay. wait. Okay. They were coming from an, a restaurant. He spent mad money on alcohol. Like she drank some like thousand dollar bottle of wine. Uh-huh. Okay. They were in the car. Oh, she swallowed. She tried to give him a little, you know. In the car. Head head game. Uh huh. He was like uh uh-uh. uh. No road head? He said no turn, road turn it down. So my question for the men. I was saying, well, you know what? Maybe Gay. down low. Or, okay, down okay low. that's what you guys. I was thinking, and I always try to look at both sides. Mm. No down low. That nigga up high. <laughs> no. He is it is it a respect thing? Like, is he looking at her like maybe this is wifey? And maybe I'm gonna show her more respect. And Don't not- say her name. Can we see a picture of her? And I'll tell you if he's gay. If this bitch cold, yeah, 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 he yeah, gay. yeah, 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 yeah. Don't say a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just show us a picture. See the picture. We'll keep talking. But, 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 but hold on a second. Yeah. The thing is, if you gone out seven times with this person, no, slept over, slept over seven times, and you've been with this person five <laughs> months, obviously there is some kind of physical attraction that's gonna exactly. be there. You're spending time with this person. You don't waste time with somebody that you're not physically attracted to. So what I'm thinking is this dude, maybe he's somebody of status or stature or whatever, and he's fronting because he needs to have that beard. He needs to have somebody with him or whatever. He likes her vibe. He likes her or conversation. Or he could be a really good Christian and trying to be serious. No, no, no. So the thing is, it's like, no, no, no. no. Who, who does that? Who does that? Who so does? I want to see how she looks first. I'll tell you if you're a Christian. So, no. so you don't think that, so is there ever a time where you think, see a woman and you think, wifey? And I don't want to ruin it, like. Or, yes. Yeah, but but five months is yeah, that's five, five months. months. Yeah. No, nah, I'm, I'm like five days. Okay, <laughs> I might wait five days. Yeah, but five, five months. months if, no. if you oh, wait seriously. five months, you've been in jail. Yeah. If yeah. I wait five, I might wait five weeks Would before you? I before I Would make you? a move. Before yeah. I really make that kind of move. If Mike I like kills. Move. No, no, no. <laughs> wait a minute. For a minute, I almost believed the bullshit. I was like, really? Wait a minute. Survey <laughs> says. Come on, man. The number one answer, he's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that also depends on if we are around one another a lot. Now, if I'm around this person a lot and we're dating, the going out a lot. ain't even pull up, but she got a thousand likes. This bitch cold. I want to see this picture. She's, oh, wow. she's has a lot, she has body. She really does. Her body's banging. So, okay, could that also mean he's ashamed of his penis? That could be that could be a that could be a problem. No, look, a little dick niggas still go for theirs. Some of them they be sure the most, do. Com- be the most confident motherfuckers. I don't think that is his dick game that he. He probably just... How old is he? he? he yeah, that's how he's old young. is he? Young? Young? Okay. So 20s. He doesn't have, he doesn't have oh, no erectile. Yeah, yeah, he ain't got no erectile yeah, dysfunction yeah, issues yeah, or whatever. Yeah, because sometimes when you... He's in yeah. the 20s, he's gay. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Don't know look. Yet. Yeah. Okay, I knew a girl, beautiful girl, great body, so cool. And she was dating this guy. And he was the same way. Like, he kept saying, I want to wait for marriage. I want to wait for marriage. And he kept saying, I don't want to do it yet. I don't want to ruin it. I want to respect you. Uh-huh. And she was like... And that makes a woman throw it at you. Guys, if you want a girl to throw it at you, just hold up. Yeah, but that's respectful. I've, I've he that was before. telling her that, though. It, it works. But, but when if he's guy, telling her, he's saving it. So so she found a way. She 
damn near raped him. She finally took it. She's like, look, I can't do this anymore. I, I'm not waiting. So she that took it. And hilarious. she said it was small than her pinky. And she's like, I see why he was doing that. Oh, that's, he wants oh. To, he wants to wait until once he got you, he got you. Like, you're married. Surprise, bitch. We married. So is, are we talking about the same person? No, this oh, is so a girl somebody totally different. Okay, somebody oh, totally oh, different. I okay, this okay, the same okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So, so the he, he, he shit, could, yeah, yeah he, he could have been, uh, yeah, you know, well, not proud I mean, of what he was working with. Yeah. And if he's not proud of that, he doesn't want to take it out for somebody unless it's special because if it doesn't work she's well, for him, him. she's going to go back and talk about him or whatever. You know, she well, gives so him That's the first time I've ever heard a story like that because we don't hang with women. So I've never heard you ain't gonna never hear Who no dude. Women? You ain't gonna never hear no dude say my dick was so small when she came. So I've never heard nobody tell with women. Well, you hang with women. But I've mean, never uh, heard a story. Of the woman. <laughs> silly Negro <laughs> me. <laughs> silly question, yeah. Steve. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> so yeah, That's my these, problem, these are kind of the conversations that we have with you know other girls like that. I mean, a woman will walk away from that feeling like. Does he not? And she's feeling, is it me? Is it because I'm 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 dark skinned and maybe he uh, I'm I'm you know. Pull it up. You, you put it on Instagram, yeah. Which I think is which I think is, her, her, yeah, I think is crazy right. that she would think that. You know I, I mean? think yeah, it might be. She's a sexy woman. Yeah. I, yeah. Five months. Either he's gay or I didn't know about this phenomenon with dudes just because your thing is small. You trick her to marry you, then you fuck her. But you know, <laughs> either he's no. gay or now has he talked about sex with any other women before? Has he talked about? Come on you know, now, look at that. Has he? Oh, I, I gotta see that myself. Has he talked about nigga? Any, <laughs> has he talked about any other women before uh, with her about some of his past relations? Don't she, don't turn around, nigga. No, 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 that's for you to see. Okay, I know, but you were showing. I'm gonna open it up. She yeah. asked if he's a virgin. He was like, yes. Yeah, he gay. Then he said no. No, he gay. Oh, no, he gay. Sh- no, he gay. Okay. No, he is. He's gay. In his twenties, yeah, he's gay. This bloody. Yeah, he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> Good lord. He's gay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's gay. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah gay. He's That's gay. gay? Yeah, he's gay. Yeah, he is. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, he's gay. He's gay. <laughs> really? Good. He like niggas, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dog. No, you think so? No, yeah, I'm looking at you. Oh, yeah. five months, slept over seven times, never made a move with that? She nigga. said one time she was in lingerie and got the bed and he didn't even notice so, she had lingerie. So, so she leaned over and tried to give him some road hair and he said no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Look yeah. at her hair, nigga. You see yeah. her hair would be glistening yeah. in the wind and shit. Okay, why did she like him? Why did she like him? She said he's <laughs> very respectful. He's classy. Okay. He's smart. Um, he's really, he I actually met him. He's a smart guy. Is he waiting on marriage? It, did, did, is he communicating with her about what his intentions are? Did with she her? meet him in Jamaica and her name's Stella? What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> and he has a job that he would attract a lot of women. Okay. Well, is he communicating with he's her? He's a sports about, figure. Hmm. No, we in LA. It could be a whole bunch of niggas. Dude. I know, but you know, there's a lot of them, a lot of athletes, a lot of entertainers. Who there are, are some like, gay athletes. Yeah, they are very good point. Yeah, they they front and they need because no, no, he gay though. Especially if he's an athlete. Yeah, he gay. Because there is a persona, a, a, a machismo. They still have to personify out there in front of their teammates and everybody else because they got to put out their front. And they got to show, hey, I'm around All some bad real, chicks. I'm, some, I'm around some bad chicks or whatever. So, you know, you can't think I'm gay. But on the down sorry, low, baby. he's doing some other stuff. So, phone yeah, I really, I, I would say I would put money, 90%, that he is gay. No, he is. I wish we could show the picture to the, no. the people. No, I know I wouldn't do, do We can't do that. But God, yo. If she fact, says yes for next week, then we can show straight up, like, she, that's that, is she in Jamaica? Because that's sun kiss right no, there. That's but some, I'll tell you more about it when we go off camera. Good Lord. Uh, uh, can, can to, you, uh, to our listeners out there. You want to pass it along to me? No. Um, you you're, you're banned. I have a Mike Hill ban. Trump has a Muslim ban. Well, he tried it. I have just implement. I have signed an executive order an exe- that Mike yeah. is not allowed to be around yeah. anymore. They're gonna lock friends. your sperm what? up with you, nigga. Oh, that dude. Yeah, your sperm gonna be locked up with you. It can't go nowhere else. Nope. Your sperm will be Why held in detention centers. So, to our viewers out there, hi. Uh huh. Um. So, I want to know in the comments below. Mm-hmm. Does that necessarily mean a man is gay, or maybe he's? Can it be? I mean, there could be a, a, a someone that we all think is beautiful, and he likes her company, but maybe he just doesn't. You can't ask that question and not show the picture. You but, show the but picture, no, they no, all no, no, say no. Yay. Let's just no. Let's just go can ahead and put show it out. Her the she face. is gorgeous. Ooh, she ooh, ooh, ooh. her her body. We can show without the face. No, 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 no. I don't want to put that out there because you know somebody can match some stuff That's up true. and they'll say Claudia. They'll, they'll, yeah, keep going. that a bitch. They we will already find we it. already <laughs> said that women are investigators. They know how to go through social media and find everything. They'll match that body and say, okay, let's go through all her followers that she's following and match that body or match that picture. We're not going to do that. You be like, how the fuck they find? So yeah, yeah. It, when you look at somebody like that, and I'm telling you, she, it, fellas, she's banging out there. Women, you would be like, and yeah, she's, she's got a, a beautiful woman. respectable job, too. Respectable job. And she doesn't, I don't know what kind of personality she has, but yeah. if he's hanging well, around she, her, once again, for six months, 
They've been slept slept together seven in the same bed times. seven times, and he's never made a move. Come on, okay. something wrong with that. He's Some gay. of the milk ain't clean. No, 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 no. Okay. Something or in the milk he's ain't married. clean. He's not married. He ain't married. How you know? He's not. Because he's spending he the that. night with her seven yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. And she's been in the house. There is no other excuse. Yeah. And the thing is, what she needs to do is ask him, like, are you not attracted to it's me? It's not. I don't. Okay. Gay is the only thing, though. No, 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 no. So, so you don't she, think it's like peeny, penis, like. um. Has she felt that? I mean, right, right, right. So she had, she, she said had, she tried to go down has there. She, has she felt she that? Has she tried? She's never touched it? He Man, he he's, gay. He said something like, you know, he didn't want to crash. Yeah, he gay. He did, hold on a second. Is he. No, nah, she should ask him. Talk, are you being celibate? She should ask him. Are you Are you celibate? Are so, you. I was talking to a guy friend of mine today. We had a little FaceTime conversation. He's fine as hell, got money. He got like the wraith and all those nice fancy cars. And I was telling him the story today. I was like, so mm-hmm. what do you think about this? Okay. Blah, 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 right? And he was like, we just going to have to crash. I mean, that's what insurance is for. Right, <laughs> like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, can you get the survey set? A survey Talk- set? <laughs> Number one answer. We're going to crash this motherfucker. Let's <laughs> pull over. He's gay. He's gay. That's the only answer. Yes, he doesn't really? want to. I mean, but the thing is, like, unless he's saying he's celibate, you no, know, because you know we, our former co-host, guy went through a phase. Yeah. Where yeah, he, he went three years. He stopped doing. doing it or whatever, and he's not gay. So, but I'm pretty sure when he was with somebody that he liked, that could frustrate he would, someone. But he would explain that. You should explain that to somebody that you're dating that consistently. Like, look, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it right now. I don't now. think he don't, he, he don't know he's gay yet. I think he's fighting. He's young. Yeah, so he's in his twenties. He's probably fighting. He's, he's I, young. He's know he's supposed to be with this woman. So he's going over there. He know he's supposed to be with her, but he's looking at her goddamn brother. Oh, he's this nigga. He's, he's waiting to be delivered. That's it. I'm Deli- waiting to be delivered. There I went out with a fine guy before. We like hooked up, but we never had sex. Like we just kiss, kiss, yeah. kiss, kiss. And I was like, so. When, but hold are on. Well, let con- me ask are you, you trying to convert on third down? Or fourth? <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing here? When, when is the right time to make a move? When is it? So, like, if you do it too soon, then I'm like, this nigga's greedy, he's uh, he's mm. thirsty, he's right. trying too hard or whatever. But if you wait too late, then all of a sudden we're going to have these conversations. Is he mm. gay? I don't like to play the um, game of, okay, I'm going to make you wait for 90 days on mm-hmm. purpose. I feel like you have to just go with your instinct. Like, how we did before, like, things got, like, so much technology. Like, what humans, like, we would just go by our natural instinct. When you feel it's the right time, then you right. do it. I've had a long relationship, four years, with someone that we hooked up, like, right away. Yeah. You had some people where you hooked up, like, first night, and it lasts, and but you don't want to keep right. taking that risk, though. It's it's too risky for a woman to keep on doing that, because then you have a, a, a trail of one-night stands if it doesn't work out. Right. But if you feel like, you know what, I feel comfortable with you, and I feel like, you know, like, it's gonna, this is, you're not just here just to get some ass, then I guess you go for it when you feel comfortable. I go for I mine. I don't have a time. I used to go for mine. I don't punt on fourth down. I'm going for mine. You wait on the first date you try? On four, you I don't punt on fourth down. Uh, I'm going oh, really? for mine. I mean, it's a, it's a vibe. It's a feel. It's a, it's just it natural. Is. It's like if, you know, all of a sudden she's into it, I'm into it. But once she says no, I'm not into that, like, let's play the rape game. I, I'm not into that. Because yeah. that's the easiest way for my shit to go down, to be quite honest with you. I'm not that person. If you pull away and say no, I'm not trying to catch a case. I am so afraid of prison. <laughs> I'll let you know yeah, right now. Nigga, yeah. Yeah, I, I am so afraid of prison. I'm not trying to catch yeah, that you case. And, all of a sudden is, and if you're intoxicated. <laughs> Have him in there singing Chico the Barge. <laughs> Chico the <de>, Chico <laughs> de Barge. She brought up Hilarious. the young Sing one. Sing is the love so good, nigga. She brought Hilarious. up the, the, the young one. Not all of them. Chico, <laughs> and Chico is the one that went to jail, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chico yeah, did yeah. a bid. Chico, Chico did a bid. But, yeah, I'm... You know, I, I'm not into all that stuff, so I'm not into playing games. So if it's natural, it comes along, first date, second date, third date, by the fourth date, you ain't trying to. I also had a woman that. Seven days. What, seven days? No, I'm just oh, laughing. No, 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 yeah, yeah, nigga. that's crazy. He's gay. Yeah. But what I'm saying, and, not, and there's oh. nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If he is, I hope he finds himself, and I hope he finds himself a nice little gay man. He's going to find a good find nigga. Love. Dude, but, put the camera on. You're going to find a good nigga yeah, one day. You leave that girl it, alone. It, it's going to happen. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Leave put, that girl alone. Release bro. that fish back oh out to the Oh, my God. <laughs> just go like this, young man. Look, look, go like this. Release that back. Just put a throw back in the water. Yeah, it's all good. Damn I got, it. I, I got to nice, call her and tell her. I yeah, I got, I got a nice tell little girl pond go over like here. This. Take the hook out of her mouth and go on back in the water. <laughs> I got to nigga And tell I'm ready for it. Just let this no, know. No. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. There's, there's a mic band. <laughs> well, you know, I just happen to say, I know who she is. Now I can follow her. You know no, what I'm saying? I'm going to already tell her that. I'm going to tell her again. <laughs> don't, Mike, I'll oh, save what? the picture for you. I'm going to say he's gay and has a small penis. Well, I saved it for you. And he's awful at oral sex. That's what I'm going to say to her. Oh, well. Oh really? Mm. Mm-mm, that that's not true. Uh, two of those things aren't true. Two? Which two? Uh, you guessed. Um, I said gay. I mean, but I don't understand what a what's, what's a big penis? What's a big <laughs> penis? 
Yeah, this conversation is getting really uncomfortable. Just, what's, what's a big penis? I really talk, didn't come here to talk about I'm, penis size. I, I, what's, a penis? What's, what's a big penis? What's a big penis? What's a big penis? Like two potatoes, two potato sizes. I'm two potatoes. Do you have two hands? Never wanted to take two hands to cover your. I'm good. I'm good there. I'm good. So I'm good. I'm straight on three. Because can one hand cover your entire penis? No. When it's flaccid. Are you one? When it's flaccid. When it's flaccid. Flaccid doesn't matter. Yeah. When it's when it's when it's swollen. When it's blown up like a. I'm a grower, not a show. Exactly. But I'm I'm good at oral sex. I really am. I am. You can you can you call, can ask around. Would you like to call a friend? <laughs> would you? Oh, would, <laughs> would you? <laughs> if we're gonna get personal like that, would you like to call who, a friend? Who am I calling? I'm not gonna tell you. You tell okay. me. <laughs> okay. I think you already know. I don't know. I think you already heard the you you already heard the reports. I think that came back to you. What? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I could probably I, Google right I, now and probably find out on a message board I, I, who I, has I, had I, oral sex on my couch. <laughs> I actually had somebody tell me, like, oh, yeah, I told Claudia, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what the hell are you telling Claudia for? Why why, 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 why why, would y'all share that kind of information? What do you mean? What were we just talking about? You wouldn't want a friend telling me about what you do? I, I feel like, you know, like, you're like my baby sister. So it's almost like, oh, knock why, it off. Why, would, why would she go back and tell, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I, I told Claudia how good it was. Oh, All right, but what I was saying is, <laughs> if after, like, three or four, if you only do oral sex and she never gives it to you, mm-hmm. What are you supposed to do then? Keep what do you mean? D- keep licking it. Why? Why? Because maybe the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Terrorists. I wouldn't mess with no chick that I don't go down. No. I don't know how women can accept oral sex and not have sex afterwards. I think that's hard. I I, I don't know if I've ever done that. I've lied to women and said, hey, let me just come over and eat it. I ain't All gonna right. Do that's and then once you do it, she'd be like, might as well since you're here. I'm like, you bullshit. What? I just happen to have these rubbers in my pocket. I don't know where <laughs> they came on. from. <laughs> That's another question right there. Now, as men, you know, back in the day, we used to keep condoms in our pockets. In your wallet? Uh, in yeah. our wallets, whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't really care around big wallets anymore. So if you're walking around, you're single. Because there's a drugstore on every corner. I know, but so like you if you get... like, I could I could be hooking up, like it'd be the first date or whatever, and you might take her back and you don't have it. Do you have to go to no, the drugstore? You... Come on now. <laughs> Condoms are for suckers. Come on now. That's true. It's like way. school. And, and, and let me. Why would like, they go to school? And, and go Claudia, raw and get like, high. A, like you're not, you're not enough of a risk taker, right? Right. Like go for it. Go live. For it. Listen, if Donald you, Trump is president. It doesn't matter. Go raw and drop out of school and do drugs. And if you're gonna be a bear, you might as well be a big old grizzly bear. You know what I mean? Like don't be a punk. Go bear. Go back, go baby. go the way God intended for it. The to more be. you know. This is like an ABC after school special. The more you know. And then when you start itching in a few days. <laughs> well, that's different. Well, then you just get some iodine, some rubbing alcohol, and some apple cider vinegar like our grandma's. Then, then you say. go to CVS and you drive like the one way in Bakersfield. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go to the pharmacy. <laughs> and then they'll, they'll clear it all up. Don't worry about it. Would you, would you Ask for Dr. if, if a guy on his first date went into his, his pocket and a condom came out? How would you feel about that? I would. I mean, that happens. I'm like, oh, okay. yeah, you think oh, you, yeah. you think you're getting something tonight? Okay, I'm just saying. I, well, yeah, well, it's like it's, they, you gotta enjoy his confidence, right? I'll definitely like have a. Oh, you know, I gotta be careful just in case. And I just always like make a little joke about it. Mm. You know but I mean? that's what I'm saying. It's like, so where do you keep your car? I keep some in my car now. I keep them in my car. You fucking in your car? No, no, I keep them in my car just oh, in case. In the speaking in the of the devil, uh-huh. the bridge right there what? where you park. Uh huh. Was a couple fucking when I was parking. <laughs> what? They were. Under the bridge? Under the bridge, in the car. I was, not, I was trying to get a, I was trying to act like I couldn't read the signs and I was trying to videotape them. <laughs> they were in the car. She was, under riding, the bridge. she was riding the shit out of him. It is daytime right now. And riding the shit out of him. I was all like this. You didn't film it for the sh- You got to get footage for the, for the oh, come on, man. I couldn't even get the, I couldn't get the footage though. I was trying because I was trying to read, act like I was reading the sign because she tried to stop when she saw me. So I was like, don't act like they see you. Just, mm-hmm. she was trying to act like to get off and he just kept like pulling her back. Like, no, no, don't move. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, he don't see us. And I was going like just looking at the oh, sign, wow. playing it off. <laughs> And also she started moving again. I was like, this bitch ain't gonna wait, goddamn. That's savage. Man, they right down to the bridge. When's the last time you had sex, Mike? Uh, A couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks? A couple of weeks ago. Uh, No, last week. Last week. Last week. Look at you. 24 hours. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, two times, 24 hours for Steve there. What What? about you? When's the last time you had sex? It's been a while. It's been a while? What's a while? Over a month. It's been a while. What's that song? Been a while. Since you've been in your relationship. Yeah. White people song. Uh It's been a while. Uh I mean, I use a little sex toy. I don't know the white people music. It's been a while. When's the last time you pulled out that whip? You ain't think I forgot about that, right? Oh, so I... Good callback, nigga, (laughs) because I forgot. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So when I'm moving, right, I have some sex toys, um... You know, gifting sweets. You know, I'm you a big, I'm a big celebrity. Right so mm-hmm. you know, people give me stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, being a big, you know, yes. celebrity like I am. Yes. Uh huh. I get gifted with these things. <laughs> 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 I have shit that plugs in the wall. I have a vibrating cock ring that mm. didn't get to get used. Those are awesome. Mm. 
Mm. They the really are. You Hold just got to make sure you shave because when you try to take it off, <laughs> it'll pull the hair and make you scream like a woman. So, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I have all this stuff, right? And so when your mom, you don't realize, like, you, when you live by yourself, you, like, have freedom. There was also a pair of uh, boots that somebody left in my house. Boots? God, what damn. kind of boots? Some, 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 old, some, some, some old boots. Timberlands. Some old Timberlands. Yeah. Some old Jodeci yeah. boots. Yeah. Your mother came out of the bedroom and said, who, who, who left these? <laughs> my mother was like, who are these? <laughs> I was like, Mom, some little thought. Anyways, she's like, why do you leave with his shoes on his shoes? I'm like, Mom, mm. <laughs> I ask you too many questions. Mm. <laughs> Not prepared Were them. you hoping he was coming back to get his no. boots? No. Okay, so My yeah. friend said, throw them shits away. Fuck him. Yeah, exactly. Right. And I'm like not all the way an asshole. So I'm like, no, nah, I'll give him his little boots back one of these days. But I just don't want to like. <laughs> his little his boots. Little boots. His <laughs> and little he's boots. been trying to see me. And I'm like, I don't, I've just, because I had to hide them during, you know, Cause they've been in my house, but they've been there for a while. Uh huh. They're from like a while. Ago. Oh, so somebody else comes uh, over and like, yeah, I'm like, I had to hide them, motherfuckers. Uh huh. <laughs> have you ever lied? Have you ever had somebody over? They noticed something of another man's. Like I went to a girl's <laughs> house and she had some motherfucking axe body wash. <laughs> In her oh, motherfucking yeah, you know shower. Damn well, that's I'm a like, dude. yeah, what's 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 up with the axe body wash? Oh no, 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 no. You know when my mom came, she had a boyfriend. <laughs> you using your shower? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When when I moved, Niggas be lying. Like, I, I moved like maybe what, like three, four years ago, and Tiffany, sweet Tiffany from uh -huh. my friend's house, uh -huh. and Herb came to help me move. So Tiffany had the bathroom and me and her was putting stuff in the living room. And then all of a sudden she came out and said, maybe I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was like, what's she talking about? She found, she found my lube, my concrete. She found a, a basket of like 80 rubber. She was like, maybe I shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was like, just so you know, I buy them in bulk because it's cheaper. I'm oh, not some God. freak. Oh. And you get the lube for free when you buy 100 rubbers. Is that right? Yeah, and a cock ring for a gift. 100 rubbers? Where you buy 100 rubbers from? Online. Oh, what kind of rubbers you get? Um, crown. Why don't you just go to Costco? No, skinless crown are the best. It's feel like you don't wear anything. Yeah. Wow. What's What's the best condoms that you know you, you suggest anybody that's with you? you <laughs> it's not like we, lamb we're trying skin. to get sponsors, man. So yeah, you know, no, whatever. Cr crown skinless is is better than lamb skin because it protects against disease too. Mm. Whatever fits them and whatever, whatever fits and you, whatever no whatever fits. You ever have them. a guy bring a magnum and he really can't oh, we try to overcompensate yes. and it fell off in yes. you. <laughs> Digging up and then you spend the last hour like this. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Take this nigga. <laughs> One of my friends, my girl, I told you, Flora, she was with a guy and, and he put the dick in the nuts. And, and, and the balls. In the <laughs> yeah. That's impossible. Oh. No, it's not. Listen. How you gonna put your balls in the condom? That's impossible. Balls in the condom. Damn. He was a thimble. <laughs> The hell that happened. You know, God's really not fair in that. But she area. also tells us people steal from you. I've never seen guys steal from women, so I can believe maybe he did put his balls in there. Yeah, yeah. Is your mom in your business? Does she get in your business when it comes to you, you know, your dating life and all that? A stuff? little bit because, like, for a long time, all through my 30s, she really wanted me to settle down and give her some grandkids. Okay. So she'd always be like, So have That's you met reasonable. someone? And, you know, just, you know, my 30s, it was like, early 30s, it was. You know what? You should hold out. You know, you wait to meet the right guy. Make sure he has he, he is attractive and he has <laughs> money. And he's successful in education. He's a good person. And then, like towards like the end of my thirties, I was like, you know, you don't really have to be married. You know, I, you know, just want to have you a know, baby. What's Not up with that Dennis Robin fella? <laughs> he's single, baby. Then like, then like forty two, forty three. She's like, well, I don't even think you'd have babies anymore. So like, basically, like fuck it, pretty much. Oh, damn. <laughs> Did you send your nieces something for their birthdays? I'm like, God damn. Is she still here? Is she still here? No, she left the other day. Oh. So anyways, I had to like, when we're moving from the other place, I have my little drawer next to the bed where I have, you know, some stuff, whatever. And in my, you know, lingerie drawer, I was like, I had, I felt like a little kid. I was sneaking, like wrapping stuff up and hiding it so she wouldn't see. But then when the unpacking part, my new place, she likes to go through all my shit and like really organize. And I was like, oh my God, I was at the store. I was like making a little run to like Pier 1 and stuff. And I'm like, Please don't go through that one bag because she's gonna judge me. <laughs> How would you feel? What if you was went in to the bag? Hold on, what was in the bag? You found that stuff at her house. The no. same shit. How would you feel? I'll be. I would give my mom dab because she's so conservative, and my mom never talks about sex. She never gave me. the You don't talk think she's having sex now? You don't think she's having? She's getting broken off by somebody. She has a boyfriend. She's had like a boyfriend that, for many years. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then. Okay, so, so she's getting broken off. I hope off. so. Yeah. Okay. I hope so. What was it? What was it? What was in the the package you didn't want her to open up? Well, there was some lube and there was some a cock ring, the vibrating cock ring, oh, whatever. And then okay. there was this glass dildo that the girls of Deal and Deal put together. Like it was like oh, it's expensive. It's super pretty. It's like a flower on the inside of it. It's beautiful. It's, it's a, a glass, a glass dildo. dildo. It's work. It's a work of art. But you've never used it though, right? Why would somebody you, use a glass dildo? I used it yesterday. What are you talking about? 
<laughs> Glass? It's smooth. How do you how do you clean that? Do you put it in the dishwasher? Hot water. <laughs> Boiling, scalding. You hot put water. it in the dishwasher? No. I mean, it's I'm glass. You put it in the dishwasher. I'm not mixing that. Does it vibrate? <laughs> no, it's just. You open the dishwasher. There's a dick in the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all I'm yeah, saying. I don't want to eat over there ever again. <laughs> no, right. Is the next uh, person. I don't need some lasagna, baby. That's great. The next person I'm intimate with is probably going to get injured. I'm just saying. Oh, you see, all built up now? They're going to. I'm going to unleash his flip. Very young. That's all. Oh, see? This, this, see, this is the reason why we get this damn her, dude. Her DM's going to be on yeah, fire. I know. This is the reason why. <laughs> hey, I'm just here to unzip my pants and see what's going on. Raw dog. This is the reason. This Cause I reason. do miss. I miss having like a good, nice, healthy sex life. Like I miss it. No, it's fun. Like I really want to like just thank you. get back to just. What do you mean thank you? Thank you, thank you for oh, making whoa, us feel like. Whoa, 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 no, whoa. No. Yeah, what does that mean? No, I'm just saying thank you for you know throwing it in our face about a good. Oh, I'm about to say oh shit. Sex dude. life. No, yeah, yeah. I said like, I ain't fucked you. What's going no, on? No, this show, no, 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 no. We unstable like a motherfucker. Wait, wait, well, hold on, slow down, man. No, no, I'm just saying you, you're kind of throwing it in our face, you know, a healthy sex life. I would like to have a nice, healthy, stable Oh, sex Mike, life. knock it off. That's your own goddamn fault. What? Pick one and make it official. You know, that's my, my mom wants me to do that. My mom is <gasps> ready to you know, She wants me to go ahead and settle down, you know, even though I've settled down twice. I, but, you know, like I said, you know. I'm, you could definitely have a healthy sex life if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, I want it with the wrong person, though. What's the... Yeah. The wrong person. Don't let that be your get out of jail free card <laughs> every time. I, mean, I, mean, I, I can I can have right. sex if I wanted to, and I'm not bragging about this. I think I can but have you sex are. just about every night. Dude, just wait and yeah, just keep masturbating. That's all you. Nah, I don't even like doing that. I, I, don't, I don't like that. I feel like every time I do that, I feel like something bad happens to me. I feel like every time right. I've done that, then you're I doing lose it some wrong. money. No, I lose. No, I lose money. I don't know what it is, man. Like Stop jerking off with fifty dollar bills, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? Do you just like use you're... lotion like everybody else. Do you feel like you're raping yourself? No, nah, no, nah, I just feel, I feel like I'm doing wrong? something morally wrong. Does I don't it feel know what gay it is, man. That nah. you're grabbing a man's dick. It's his. If you think, but if you think, mine. but if you think about it though, it's kind of think. Hey, I think I'm on something. Wait a minute. <laughs> if you're grabbing a dick, she fucking it up. And trying to get it to come. Even if it's your dick, you're still grabbing a dick. No, it's mine. Is it, she fucking up? I put it in the for everybody. To quote, get. to quote James Hanna, <laughs> anything that you do with another man in a room that causes one of you to come makes you gay. <laughs> well, that's true. So now if you alone and you jerk off, yeah, it's kind of gay. Because I'm not thinking about a dude. I'm like, Cardi! Cardi! We don't know. Cardi! We don't know what you're thinking about. You're looking at your dick. I'm no, you don't look at it. And you look at the exciting ceiling. Exciting you. No, you never look at your And you're dick. rubbing the shit on your dick. Yeah, but think you don't about look that. at it. Just think about it for a second. Just something to think about, ladies and gentlemen. Now that you're in a relationship, do you think about other women when you jerk off, or do you always think about Carly? Yeah, he does. Go to the sure. <laughs> I always think about Carly. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> I do. First of all, like when you're in a relationship for a long time, after a while, you start thinking about other people. Is that wrong? Maybe y'all is, is that wrong? Like, if you're, so you're in a relationship... <laughs> And 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 you 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 you're faithful as everybody knows whatever. Mm -hmm. And your man is out of town for a while, and you need to take care of some things, but you need some mental stimulation. So, do you think about any other men while you're doing that, or do you think about your man? Um, <laughs> not other men. If I have to think about other men, it's usually the beginning of the end of the relationship where I don't want him. It's not about him anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Like okay. I was in a relationship like that like a long long time ago, where like towards the end I was like, Ugh, like his touch, I just was like, Ugh. You know? Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had to think about someone else to like to get through it. So when you got out of that relationship, did you call that guy up that you were thinking no. about? You know, it was like a celebrity. I was okay. About. Oh, just, oh, so, oh, celebrity. It was like some somebody that you hadn't been with. Yeah. Just, it was okay. like oh, it was like you know, a little cool chair or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Or is one. <laughs> but it was like a, it was like a, it was a celebrity like that. It was it wasn't anything that was, could really happen mm -hmm. at the time? You know what I mean? It was just like okay, let me think about like if I'm home like Beyonce. It'll never yeah, happen. Okay, exactly. Right. So it's like a little bit. It's still like it's. Bad, but it's still like it's not as bad. It's uh, to me, it'd be worse if I was thinking about someone that was really in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like someone that I knew, I could really pick up the phone and call. Yeah, it's wrong. Like if I'm sitting at home, like Annie, right? It's wrong because right. I know her. Well, so, that yeah. would be wrong. What? Because I know her. Well, look. Right. What'd you say? Nothing. Oh, go to commercial. Okay, yeah, go. Because <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I know her. I'm just, that's your home girl. So should we talk about some things that are happening in the? In, in how we? How, how, much, how much time we in? Just yeah, how much time? We, I think we I'm, are. I'm, I'm, how much time we in? Oh, actually, no, we um, we good. Well, we good. We're okay. Good. Oh, yeah. It's it's two stories that you brought up, like uh, your, your Jada Pinkett story. So her. Jada Pinkett has been really getting open on her Red Table talk uh, talk show mm -hmm. she has on Facebook, which mm -hmm. is really doing well. 
and um, being very forthcoming and giving a lot of in- personal information. Uh, she said that um, she get, she had a vaginal rejuvenation surgery, and she says she now feels like she has the vagina of a 16-year-old. Oh. Okay, so seriously, I'm not even trying to be funny. <laughs> I'm not even going to go What there. is that? What, how, do, what do they, how do they make it new? Like- they can go up in there. They can tighten shit up. Mm-hmm. So oh, like, just add stitches, like plastic surgery for your vagina. And they can also, like, sometimes, you know, the older you get, like, your lips can start getting longer or whatever. I don't know. Shit. Like, they inject it with collagen. They can cut the lips well, down. How about we just look it up? Well, if the lips sure. are hanging low, they can cut them. But those can... are the best ones. The ones you that like hang... the low hanging low? Because uh-uh. when she stand, listen. I don't like, like the you, pastrami look. Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> when you in a hotel room and she hanging over the balcony and you sit in the bed looking at her and you see, like, the the... The moonlight between her legs and the lip shit. That'd be right. You like all that pastrami meat hanging down like yeah, kinda. that? Yeah, kind of. I like when it be all on your face. No, like, so you bro, like a very small. I like it. No, I like it just nice young. and cute. No, and just like young. peachy no. and just. No. It's got to be shaving. It's got to be yeah, shaving. You can shave, but that's. Yeah, I, I told you, I've broken up with a girl. So you're looking for a 12 year old? Yeah, so basically. 14. I don't want to. Why well, you got to make it creepy? I, I, okay. I made it creepy. Why you, you made it creepy? No, no, no. I'm saying, but for the most part, like, if I've been with women who have been with other men that their vagina wasn't all beaten out. You know, it's beaten not out. beaten out on the outside looking in. You know what I mean? On the, on the inside looking out. You know what I mean? Whatever I'm trying to say. You know, when the vagina yeah, on the on that? when your vagina on the inside looks like it's on the outside, that's just like you've been. Wait, what? You, no, like when your vagina gets pulled out. You know, you've never seen that before. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you guys are talking about. When the vagina looks like if you just open up the lips and it just looks like uh, pastrami meat there. It just looks like a lot of hamburger meat. you never seen that before? Well, I mean, but... I only see one pussy in, in one vagina well, and it's well, just well, fine I, to I, me. I, I've seen plenty of them. So I'm just saying. You said that we I, didn't. Yeah, well, I have. I have. Keep telling them. I have. Well, well, it's true. I mean, people know that. I'm, I'm, it's my past. I can do it. I'm a grown-ass man. What I'm saying is like... How many girls I, have you been with? Enough. Don't you answer that Over 300. Question. I've been with enough. Over 300. And what are you talking about, 300? Like, as far as, like, that? intercourse? Yeah. Don't you What's that mean? That question. Sex, putting don't your penis you in their vagina. Ah. Uh, uh, different women. 300 different women. 300 different. Oh, on, on the, on the, uh, the advice of my attorney, <laughs> I'm going to uh, hmm? take my Fifth Amendment right. I'm, I'm, just a, my own I'm trying to help get us sponsors, okay? Uh, on the advice oh, of my yeah, attorney. Yeah. We've had depressing ass shows. Some of the viewers were bitching about. It. So let's have some good provocative conversation, uh, shall we? Uh-huh. Now, Mike, I'm on the on the advice of my attorney. I'm How many women have you been? In my, yeah, I'm what? Steve, you gonna turn on me like this? We I've been with enough in my past. I've had plenty. I've had enough of all different types. All different over styles. or under a hundred? <laughs> well, he's forty, I, I, so you guys. I think you know over. the answer to that. I don't know the answer. I mean, here's the thing. Let me, let me use 40, your so logic. Obviously. If I started when I was 14 years old, that means... Oh, listen, I, all that this means, fucking trickery oh, no, no, and no, 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 no. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm going to use your logic. You're beating around I'm gonna, the no, bush. I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to use your logic. So if I've been over with 100, then that means I've been with three a year, okay? So yes, I've been with over 100 women. Okay, have you been with more than 200? That means I've been with over 60. <laughs> have you been with more than 400? No, nah, I ain't going to say that. I haven't been with over 400 women. No, not different women. Steve, how many white women have you been with? <laughs> Steve? <laughs> My counsel said I can't say shit. What? Oh, happy belated Father's Day. I didn't wish anyone a Father's Day this year. Oh, yeah. Happy um, Father's oh, thank Day, Thank you. Michael. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank See, you. My, my father wasn't in my life, so I, I, yeah, I, I don't disrespected celebrate. a lot of people. Yeah, me too. Call, I so I feel bad. I, I called know. you on Father's Day, though. Yeah, but you was being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Oh, because of the baby you thought yeah, you had? I had with my daughter for nine months. So he said, happy, what did you say? I said, happy temporary Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, temporary Father's <laughs> oh, Day. Shit, that's what I thought. Yeah. How'd you feel about that? Steve said he was about to, he asked his chick to marry him. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't know you, yeah, I didn't know you asked her to marry The prostitute? No, well, yes, no, no, this is no, this is Christina. She, um, I asked, she told me she had my baby, so I didn't want my child to be a bastard like me, so I was like, Well, will you marry me? And she said, Are you at, are you asking me for because you love me or for the baby? And I was 27 and stupid, I said, For the baby, <laughs> and we got in an <laughs> argument. And thank God it was the best thing I ever said because then she said, Well, fuck you because it ain't yours anyway. I was like, Whatever. And she wasn't lying. But think about this, Aww. bro. You had to pay. Played, yeah, yeah, I know, man. But you did pay nine months of child support, right? Yeah, and the judge was like, you don't think you're getting that money, bro. All right, but how much money did you have to pay in child support? Not a lot. It was like 97 <laughs> I was probably paying like maybe $300 a month. $300 a month. Yeah, okay. Month. Yeah. Now, I, I paid that anyway in like every three, three days for one of my kids. All right, so I paid a lot of child support, and I paid it over the years. But... I'm looking at what my man Jesse Williams from Grey's Anatomy just got ordered to pay his ex and spousal and child support. 
I didn't know he was making this much money. A hundred thousand yes. a month. A hundred thousand. But he's probably getting five hundred an episode. Yeah, That's no, no, he's no. What? Yes. No, he no. It says he's making five hundred thousand a month. That's what he's making. So he's making one twenty five a week. He, yeah, so he might he's, be making. Yeah, so he's so making, making one twenty five episode. Then. Uh, so I he's, thought he was getting way but more he's, than he that. Said he might he, get more than that. He says he's making. So I, I think it came out to equivalent of him making six million dollars a year. So if he's making five hundred thousand dollars a month, that's six hundred. I mean, six million dollars a year, right? But, but, he doesn't work, but he doesn't work every month, though. That's true. So he's got to give up a hundred thousand dollars a that's, month. That's I, excessive. That, that's crazy. That is so. I mean, look, I was, I, I'm, all, I'm all about taking care of my children, but you know what? If you're an able-bodied person, look, I'll help you get back on you your feet or whatever California. and all that stuff. But at the same time, I should not have to take care of you for this extended amount of time after I've already... We, we went our separate ways. We went our separate ways. How long does he have to pay that? Now, right th- right now, this is temporary until they have the final judgment. Do they have kids? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's got to pay... He's got two kids. He's got two kids. $100,000 he has got to pay the child support plus her spousal support. $100,000 that's one point two million dollars a year. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of damn money. I'm sorry, man. No, I don't, you know, look. I mean, yeah, it should be relative, so the children have a similar lifestyle to when they were with you, or if they you were still around. But I think some of it is is I would be pissed if I had to pay half of my money to someone that. Hell yeah. I don't. I don't think. I don't, just don't think it's right. <laughs> well, and thank then you, you got someone like thank Chris. You. Chris Bosch, he's paying like twenty five hundred dollars a month. How's that Chris, possible? I thought he was. He's still. He's not married. No, but he's, you know, he's with his wife. Oh. But remember, he, there was a woman he was with before, oh. and they planned to have a baby. Oh, that's right, that's and right. And then it, for some reason, they broke up. And only $2,500 a month? How's that possible? And he's making $20 million a year. Yeah. Close to 20 I don't know what's oh, the, the state. The state. I think it's Florida. One of the states oh, that, God. whatever state he went through, with, they have the, the laws that are just like, they definitely put the smack down on the. Like, they literally, don't there let are NBA players that marry women in those states purposely. Yeah. Like, if you're going to go there, their lawyer say, if you love her with all your heart, but still go marry her in that state. Or they're going to take your ass if she, you know. But and, and as far as spousal support, I have mixed feelings on that. Like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I think uh, part of being with someone, you know, that has a lot going on, and then when it goes bad, I mean, if especially if you're the one that left them, you're supposed to still have the same exact lifestyle as if we're still together. That's what I'm saying. I don't saying. think that's right. Uh, I don't know, think you... that's right. Now, I don't think you should leave someone high and dry. There should be, like, a little bit of a grace period. Right. But it should be fair. Like, I, even though I'm a woman and it would benefit me, I still feel like, well, it could actually benefit the man if I date a guy that makes less. I just think it's something wrong about we're not even together and you still have the same life, the same can benefits I get some ass? as when we were together. If I, I can get right. some ass, then you should be able to get some money. Then I'll give you some money if I can pay exactly. out and get some ass. But if you're a billionaire, I do not think your kids should be getting the minimal amount of child support. I think that's wrong. Oh, and absolutely not. And it's, it's really for it's as a deterrent so men just don't make babies all over the place. But, but here's the thing. Women. Here's the thing. It's not like as men, I pay child support and I still take, if, if my child needed anything on top of the child support that I give my exes, I will take care of that. My right, daughter that too, just huh? sent me a text. She just sent me a text, and it basically said <laughs> she's she's asking for money, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get the I'm gonna give her the money. That's what I'm saying. So it's like I'm not just gonna give a woman, and I've been doing that for years, and I don't mind doing it. Of course, I'm almost at the end of that. Continue to help you with your lifestyle under the guise that you're taking care of my child. You don't need that much money to take care of my child. So none of your because wives got remarried. I wish no. Wow. No. You ruined them, huh? No, they, they, well, they tired I, of niggas after you. You know what? What I what I realized is that every girlfriend that I can think of, every woman that I've dated that I can think of, never got married. Never got married. None of them. Every are single you, are you, one. Are you of proud that? of that? So no, it kind of feels like you're like, oh, you ain't never gonna find someone as good as me, bitch. I, I never said that. I'm not saying that. I'm yeah, just but saying that was the tone. Or, or, I'm not trying. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'm not trying a, to come across like that. But you, then, that's the tone you're giving us. But what like, I'm saying is, like, everybody thinks that I'm such this this cruel guy, or I'm bad with I don't relationships think people or think whatever. You're cruel. But all I'm saying is, in every single one of my relationships, with the exception of maybe w- one person, they've always wanted to come back. They've always wanted to come back, and I'm not. I'm not trying to brag. It's just, just facts. Steve, huh? Uh, seriously? I, 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 I said I'm not saying. Yeah, that. yeah. No, is, is it true though? I mean, yeah. Listen, it, I, I know one. Yes. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? Every one at one time they'll come back. They might not come around in the beginning, but they'll see some, and then all of a sudden. So, it's what like, do you think that's about? I don't know. You know, uh, because you I, have a theory. Come I, on. I, no, I think I, I think they they know that for whatever reason they can find faults in me, but they also know that. 
if I got 10 qualities, maybe eight of those qualities are damn great qualities and they might not get there get that anywhere else. I'm not saying I'm the best guy on the planet for a relationship or to be in a relationship <laughs> with. Kind of sounds like it. Yeah, but, but kind of sounds all, like all it. All I'm saying is, all I'm, what, I, what I am saying is they haven't found anybody better, maybe. Oh. Maybe, so they come back. You know what it's tough out here to find a man that wants to get but married. That's what, no, well, you know, and the thing yeah, is, it's like, and... Because and, and, and of these rules, these, the, the, the alimony, the child support, then they, they, someone put something out the other day about how it doesn't benefit men to get married Did anymore. you see that new article? They yeah. said men are not getting married now because it's not smart. But why would you? Why would you get married to somebody that you're not well, really in love with? 50% of marriages end in divorce in the first seven years. You and then tell after us, 10, I, I, Well, I know. Well, I've been married twice. Yeah, so I'm saying. So I'm like, but I'm, I've been divorced for six years now. Mm-hmm. So I've been single 70% for six years. of marriages end in the, seven, in the first 10 years. Yeah. And they get half your shit. Yeah. Well, why would I think I it's good to wait till later on in life. I no. think you, when you settle yeah. then, you know what I mean? I think when you're young, you are a different person from your teens to your 20s. From your 20s to your 30s. Your 30s to your 40s. Like, you change a lot. And I think we start getting to, like, 50s. You start to coast a little that's bit. When, you, when you get in your 50s, that's who you are. That's who you're going to be. You notice who I date now, right? Look at the type of quality women I date now. Who are you dating now? I, the, the type of women I date. Think about this. The who women, are you dating? The women. Who are you dating? Yeah. Who did you, who was your, you tell me your last boyfriend, I'll tell you. You answer my question no, no, first. No, no, you tell me. Answer my question you first. Tell me I your, always, I give up a lot. I can of, tell I give you up a lot you, tell, you tell the world your last boyfriend and I you will tell You answer my question first. Stop answering a question with a question. My girlfriend's name is Carly. You can put hashtag <laughs> Carly right there. What I will say is so the type. So you're not answer the question? No, I'm not going to answer the question. Why not? The type you're not proud of the relationship? I am very years. proud of this. The woman um, who gave you sex a week ago, you're not going to. Gave you sex. Who said Oh, wow. <laughs> Back to being a hoe, I see. Wow, damn, he I put just, his I, own foot in his I, mouth. I, I didn't confirm what the now. I'm just saying who said it was her. I'm not saying it's her or was not. Was it? Yeah, it could have been. It could have wow, been. Still Maybe. trying to be a player yes, no. and a good guy. At the but same he, time. here's you the thing. That? Here's the thing. Shit. The type, the quality That's women that I date, the women I date, <laughs> mm-hmm. they got just as much to lose as I do. Can I just say? So you, if you, I you do, do realize you make yourself look really bad because you keep saying plural mm-hmm. women. You the type realize. of women, I, you know, the type mm-hmm. of women. I, you just no, say the I type of woman. When you say women, you, that's mm-hmm. plural. You do realize. I mean, like, well, I'm talking about the past. Oh, okay. All I'm right, talking about the type of women I've dated. Maybe I should have said. There we go. How about this? The next situation. We're going to double date, Mike. <laughs> so you can meet, I can meet yours, and you can meet mine. Okay, you tell no, me. I want to be there, and I'm going to get, we coming too. A triple date. Yeah, we yeah. were going. We did that before, we've didn't done we? That we before. Did. Yeah, we've done but, that before. Um, uh, that was, uh, we named went, after my cat. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kevin, we went yeah. to, uh, oh, yeah, dude. We went, so we went on a triple date one time. Well, I think we talked about this before. We went to, uh, oh, my, got my, caught my, stealing. <laughs> I mean, how do we, I don't know. I, I, no. I don't want to go out on a date with John. Exactly, man. <laughs> yep. She got caught Because when the two of you are together, it's just like freaking frat. Who? The two of you. The t- you know who I'm talking about. Oh, the person that, the yeah, other girl the, the, that was the, there? The okay. person that, that, that we uh, was uh, out with. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. You that just, was actually a fun night, though. It was. It was, it was a fun night. It was, it was, it was laughter. It was theft. It was a little <laughs> crying. It was. Oh, a yeah. Little, oh, yeah. I cried on Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, we, we had a, 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 a lot of night. smoked hookah. Yep. Yeah, we um, did. Um. And then I got laid that night because I was really drunk. And you get, you get, when you cry, you get sympathy. You got it. sympathy, yeah. I didn't have sex with that guy. <laughs> you never had sex with him? No. What? No. All the time. Y'all went out like with me three or four times. <laughs> you, made that, that. you made him that damn crazy. You never gave him that. I mean, he licked something. But. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Hold up. Hold up, Claudia. All right. So, I, you know, as a, as a journalist. As a journalist, as a journalist, as a journalist, I have to bring it back because now, <laughs> attention, ladies and gentlemen, at ships at sea. Here's the thing. Here's the, it's like Anderson, like, I know what you're about to say. Like Anderson Cooper, like Anderson Cooper. Uh, keep him honest. He licked my neck. Keep him honest. Oh no, no. <laughs> because early in the podcast, what did she said, say? Yeah, she said, "How can you have somebody and not?" Yeah. So how, I how, said I may have done that once. You may have done that yeah. once. Okay. All right. I'm not card. coming for you. Just let you know. There's my card. Not coming for you. Yeah. But that, <laughs> you see how that ended. He did get crazy. I, I got to preface myself when it comes to Clyde. He did get crazy. He did get crazy. Oh, yeah. He was crazy. So was your vagina that tasty that he lost his mind when it was like time for. Ask him next time you like, see him bartending. Throw, throw, <laughs> you did sleep with him. <laughs> you said what? He throwing boxes and shit at your car. <laughs> Claudia, you make them. Cr- you know what? See, everybody talks about me and how I make women go crazy. How about because you do? How about Claudia's past? How about I mean, Blast Master K R S. No, 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 no oh, you from the Bronx. He's <laughs> Blast Master Mike. That's one. How you put every put me on blast when it comes to all the women that I supposedly make crazy? Again, but all the women, stop, nigga. You make yourself. No, no, no. You guys bring it up. How am I bringing?
bring it up. You bring it up. I mean, so all of a sudden I can I I can defend myself. Y'all bring it up all the time. Nigga, we've done 36 podcasts. <laughs> and I guarantee you okay. in every one of my podcasts, you talked about my love life. So somebody. what is my what is your question that What I'm I, saying is so from now that you bring it up as far as like craziness or whatever, the, the nuts <laughs> that come out, with the exception of one. All, all, all the guys that I know, the, the ones that I know of, and they ain't been a lot of Don't get me wrong. It's but, been four people in but three and a half three, years. Three of them been kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Three of them, three of them, three okay. of them, three of them been crazy. What's been crazy? Define crazy. Uh, uh, throwing you on a toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that uh, hurt my back. Throwing a box at your car. <laughs> he was mad. <laughs> and you fucking bitch. Blah, 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 blah. You taking pictures. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. <laughs> Okay, he does have a point. I'm just saying. <laughs> and there's yeah. only one. There's only one that hasn't lost it. And yeah. So, so Francis. I'm just saying. I'm just so. Bang. I think no, I. No, no, it's two. I, I, it's two. Yeah, you're right. It's two because when Genuine came over. He wasn't throwing stuff Excuse a little crazy. Me. Oh, shit. Wow. Who said she was First with Genuine? First of all, that was in the 90s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was the 90s. <laughs> 90s. Yeah. That's what I said, but I was another guy. And he still loves me to this day. Genuine. And, and he was on uh, What's What Happens Live the other night, and they asked him about dating me, and he said yes. On the freaking Bravo show. On oh, Andy Cohen show? Yes. Oh, I like Andy that was trying to be shady. Andy, you tried it. Mm. Would, um, you, would you go back on Housewives? I don't know. Maybe. They, they're talking about Kenya doesn't have a peach anymore or whatever. They have. She's good TV. Yeah, she is. I don't know. I don't know about turning people crazy, but I feel like I definitely attract a little bit of crazy. Thank you. And that's all I say. That's all I ever we, say. We ain't the same, Mike. <laughs> no, we are we're the same. Not, no, Johnny, Johnny, we no. have already established that we are the same no, we're person. Not, yes, no, we, no, we are not the same person. Absolutely. Why do you have your glasses on? Y'all do like attract. <laughs> you kind of look like a WNBA player right now. Take them off. A, a w, WNBA? <laughs> what, what the fuck the WNBA player come he got, he got his Simone Sanders spade on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, gotta get a W in front of the put his glasses on? Got a Simone Sanders fade. You're, you're, you're extra clean today. Oh, yeah, clean. I'm always clean. He man. just left the barber shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he just I got to cut. Home. You know, got the line up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cut this short. You, you know? have a date tonight. Uh, <laughs> I got a date with my. I'm writing a book. I told you I'm writing a book. So listen, I think I attract crazy, and yeah, I always try agreed. to. Fi- and I have a thing where I try to fix it. Okay. I do. You, you do. You I do try, try and work it. with them. I'm always like, Why? You I, don't, stick around, I don't know. You stick around longer than you should. I do. I think that, um, I don't know. I feel like I like, like I'm a type that will rescue like strays and stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> rescue strays. So I feel like, I feel like if everybody else has failed you before me, I want to be that person that didn't fail you. I want to be that one that stuck. To, and I don't know why I have that need. And that's something I got to like work on myself. So you're the female version of Captain Sabo. Yeah, I've saved hoes. You cap, you cap and save hoes. And it, and it usually gets thrown back in my face because they usually resent you for it. They get angry like, you know. So wait know. a minute, you save all them bad broke bitches you be talking about? You be saving what? them niggas? You gonna smoke weed just like that, huh? Mm-hmm. I mean, you gonna you just be saving them broke <laughs> motherfuckers? <laughs> broke motherfuckers? Like the guys I did? Yeah. Because you call I them have. dime niggas. Those are the uh, ones you save. Well, they're not really dimes if I have to save them. Because like, no, you had one dime that lived with you, right? Yeah, I thought it was a dime, but he really wasn't. <laughs> okay. Right. I found out. I want to know what your grading curve is for a dime because it's obviously it. not just looks. Because I've seen some pretty niggas that you run. I know. Some, we, really? Yes. Who? Come on. Like now. who? Fucking oh handsome. God. Oh my God! Beep 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 Breaking news. Breaking oh news, God. Steve oh, Wilson. Okay, we'll cut that part out. Okay, pin that. She wants to know if you can come do our show sometime. Atlanta. Well, Mike will fly you in first class <laughs> and make sure he buys you a Gucci bag, put you up in the nicest restaurant. Tell her, right? Yep, we got oh, you. Wait, wait, hold on a second. Let she me said talk right. to your mother. Hold on. Hi, how are you? This is Kai. I think I think you. Um, we're gonna have Mike fly you in. And you can come do a show, and we would like Agreed. to talk to you because we want to get to the bottom of some of his relationship issues. Oh, and, I think, and, and I heard that you have a mean right hand. <laughs> so you might not ever want to come back on if I come on there. <laughs> you might want to come. Back, you have? Do you have some secrets you could tell us about him? Of course. Like, did he wet the bed? <laughs> oh no, he didn't do that. No. Okay. Did, fact, he got out the night was too quick. Oh, he really? Oh, what, how old was he when he? Took the pacifier out and everything. I said, "Dad, this man must, this boy must be getting out of the way for something else." Yeah, I was trying to get out of my like pants he quickly. He was out the diapers and everything before he was a year old. He was quick. So he was potty trained pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah, very, very much so. Did he suck his thumb as a kid? <laughs> no, he didn't suck his thumb. None of that. He didn't even want to take the bottle after. Was he an ugly child? 
was at Quickie. <laughs> oh, some things don't change, change right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know you want him to settle down and find the right one. We, we, oh, we, 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 I sure do. Oh. That is my wish. What? I pray for that. Oh, good. I really do. I hope he finds somebody that really loves him and he loves them. Oh. Yeah. And they can really make it. I, 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 every mother wishes that for her children. I'm so. sure you're tired of, you know, you don't want to just keep on meeting different women all the time. You want to, like, Tim, just pick one and get married and make it. Wouldn't it be nice yeah, to have two Christmases happy. with one girl to back to happy. back? What'd you say, Mom? I want you to be happy, too. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> Good one, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Get her. Get her. Thank you, Mom. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, no, don't yeah. pass the phone now. I look at Claudia want to pass the phone off, Mom, because you got her. Like, you know, <laughs> her be happy, too. <laughs> All right. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> that was, that was I, Mike Hill's mother. I want yeah. you to be happy, too. Oh, I'm going to be happy. Be happy, exactly. I'm actually quite happy today, so I'm good. Yeah, well, good, good. I'm good. I'm you ready. found that glass penis in your... No, it's not because of that, actually. Because I actually fell asleep on it. I didn't, you didn't, fell asleep on it? I didn't really even figure it out. I was just like... I, try, I was about to... I was like... Nah, I'm just waiting. That like, might yeah. be the funniest shit I've God. ever heard. I fell asleep by myself. I'm on like, a glass penis, it's like, you I was, fell asleep I was like, I should probably take care of it myself. Then I'm like, I woke up. It was like. It was, it was still like, there? I was like, this is whack. Oh. <laughs> Who are you thinking about? Oh. <laughs> Who are you thinking about last um, night? I mean, you're not in a relationship. You can be honest. I'm not going to say. Would you oh, touch oh, it yourself? Say, Bruce, what? Bruce. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce, Kevin. <laughs> she said, Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> Danny Green. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on come Who on. do you think about when you masturbate? Uh, I got several. I got three or four I go to, to be honest with you. They're, I they're. think about Leslie Jones from Saturday Night Live when I masturbate. Hey, Les. Why would you say that? It's my homegirl. Do you think about girl. your homegirl? Yeah. Anyways, Mike, who do you think about? Uh, I got a couple of uh, porn stars. I got I got a couple of girls that I've been with before that I just porn stars. No, no, no. Oh. I, I have you been with know. a porn star? You just said that. I've been with. I haven't been with a porn star. I've been with somebody who's been. Uh, I want to say she's a porn star. I've been, a porn extra. She's been. In, <laughs> she's been in a couple a of movies. A porn day worker. She's maybe? been in a couple of movies that you can consider That's, like the the Cinemax type. Uh, yeah, oh, had, she was in oh, Zane's the, like Zane's sex crime. Oh, movie. with Joe Torre, Zane's sex crime. Oh, oh. Let me, I know people from that. Oh. Oh, boy was on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who was? <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> he was on Zane Sex Ride, right, right. uh, Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. You shouldn't have said they're going to They're going to look at the IMDB. They're going to look at the entire There's cast. Try. They done already yeah. canceled yeah. out Joe Tory, so now they're looking at him. <laughs> they they're halfway there now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So okay. you was with someone on Zane's? Uh, I ain't saying necessarily Zane's. I'm just saying. Oh, the, the like, reboot. Yeah, it could be. It could yeah. be somebody. My girl was on there too. I'm gonna ask. Which one? There used to be a home girl on it. I was in acting class when she was so fine, but she got married. I, don't, I ain't gonna say her name, but she used to be fine. Who? So my which class, one of your home girls was on there? On Zane's. It was a chick named Maya. She was so fine. Oh, I know her. Yeah, she got married though, so I'm not so being disrespectful. Actor. Is that the light yeah, skin another, chick? Yeah, she got married to another actor. Yeah. Okay. Who All was right. in the same acting class? I used to be wanting to be in a scene with her Rockman so bad. Rockman Dunbar. She yeah. Oh yeah, she made Rockman Dunbar. Yeah. yeah. She. I like her. She's cool as hell. <laughs> she cool. But she was on the first when it was in the beginning. It was more acting. The and degrees it, and of the, separation. The second reboot boot was more sex. Was it? Yeah. So the first, I watched the first one, but I didn't see the second one. Because the guy told me Joe was in it. I was like, oof, that would have been horrible I, to see. I saw him in a hotel room, just turn the channel one time. And all of a sudden, I see Guy. I mean, not Guy, but I see Joe. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's Joe in? And next thing I know, he getting down with old girl from uh, uh, my friend's house. The light-skinned chick, the, 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 the Latina chick. You know the one. She's in it. The Latina chick, that's your friend. Oh, you talking about, um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that was, his yeah, too? that was his wife in the damn show. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I see, yes, and then I'm like, I'm watching, yeah. I, I watched for about the first 15 seconds, I had to turn it off, so I can't watch it. Can't a watch guy that was talking on, about Jen, yeah, 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 yeah we yeah, do the yeah, food yeah, pickup yeah, together, exactly. you know I mean, the stuff. There was a guy on Zane's that sent me, um, a dick pic one time, oh. I never typed this man, and it was the ashiest penis, I've, I don't know what that, it was like flaky. Yeah, you can't. If you gotta send, if you send a penis pic, you you can't send it. It's gotta be lubed up. It's it, it's gotta look presentable to be honest. It, you can't just send out like. So the when you send a dick pic, you gotta shave it first, right? It look like you had eczema. Well, mine is always shaved. Can you get eczema on your penis? Can you? No. No, I wouldn't want to present it. Oh, so let me ask you a question. So now, when you knew, did you know before or after you met old boy that he was in Zane's? I can't remember. Did you ever watch Zane's after you met him? 
I couldn't really find much that he yeah, did. He like, was not. He was not. Well, actually, he was on a lot. Um, I can't remember. But do, do you don't remember seeing him in the scene? You ever you ever seen him in the scene? I don't remember. Oh, you no. have? She got selective amnesia. I, oh. My memory's not that good. Like okay. if something's really amazing, I'm gonna remember it. Like uh-huh. you know, I don't really remember. Okay. I think I, I probably looked, but I was like, okay. If you were you're an actress, mm-hmm. if you were asked to be on a show like that, would you mm. do it? Well, the movie, the list, I have a. a some sex scenes. I mean, but are you showing? Yeah, but you're no, yeah, no. no. You, you, I'm not you, really. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do nude. I would. Um, would I would you? do nude in a like a big budget film. Okay. Like if it's like a dope role, I would do some nudity, but like Game I, of Thrones type shit. Like it wouldn't be some just some movie of the week type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like so they said, we are gonna do the live version of Boondocks. You wouldn't put your titties out. <laughs> it would have to be like you know, like Avatar titties, nigga. Is that what you are? I mean, I'm not really big on doing a lot of nudity. I'm pretty private in public. And then down, like, when I'm home with my person, who I'm with, then I'm, like, like... You ain't got no nudes out there? Because one night I got high and I was trying to Google nude no. pictures of you. We couldn't Ooh. find none. Are you... What? I'm just playing. Nigga, no, just nigga. Nigga. I'm just saying. I mean, the thing she got in her phone, man, you know, you never think this stuff is on the cloud right now. She's always... Why are you giving it's her not her? in the cloud. I mean, man, she, she said she got all the stuff. You mentioned the stuff that Ooh. you just... See, so you know what that means? Somebody saying it. First, you know what it is? Somebody can go like this. They know how to do this shit and all your shit is in there. I'm not joking. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, that's why you got to get rid of that shit in your phone. Get rid of it. They I'm going to show y'all some things. Get did, you see, did you see uh, what happened made. to Leslie? Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't mm-hmm. play. See? That's what I'm yeah, saying. They get you. Are you are you proud? Are you proud? Like if you had to do a new, are you proud of what you have up there? Like you haven't had any work done. You know, just you're 44 years old. Are you proud of? I think I look good a, naked. Okay. I would like my butt to be more plump and bigger, but when I, you know, I gotta start doing squats. I mean, you get older, your butt starts to sag. When you lay down, do they fall underneath your my boobs? This nigga yeah, no, here. my boobs are perky. Oh, okay, perky. Okay. Shit, you can't tell. I'm just saying, you got a bra on. I don't know. Make it sound like my boobs are perky. Okay. okay. Not are you embarrassed? Are you proud of your penis? What? What? The oh, fuck? Is your mother watching this? What first the hell? hell? Oh, damn, it just she took is. a turn. Well, well, she knows. She knows what kind of person I am. She, she told nice. y'all I was out of my diapers real quick. I mean, so I was, I was ready. So you better hose and use a toddler. Right, that's nice. You know, so Michael's a. Body toddler. My, day, nice. my daycare was beautiful, man. Nice. Nice. You know. All right, we have nothing really else to say. No, we Trent, don't. It seems like you're getting bored. Yeah, so, and Trent, um, Trent's tired. Trent, stop working the Asian guy so much, man. This is kind of slavery, what y'all doing. He so had some broad shoulders, Trent. He looks strong. Uh oh. Trent. Uh oh. <laughs> Trent. Would you, Trent? Would you? Would you? Go ahead. Nod yes or no. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Trent. Yeah, Trent. But you wouldn't. You, so you you oh, doing the camera like that. <laughs> so up and down. If you say yes, side to side. If you say no. Oh lord. Up and down. I think he's hey, in a relationship. Uh, he's in a relationship. Trent. Trent's in a relationship. You're in a relationship, Trent. Oh, oh. so you're available. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, Trent. Oh shit. Trent, would you? Would you? I mean, like one night. Claudia. Oh, no. Do not. Yeah, I'm First of all, I'm just saying. So one, it can't not one night. It got to be a more than. Oh, that's right. You got it. You got to spend at least three you weeks. Proposition my. See, it's too hey, late. He lady good. He done hey, spent Trent. time with her for thirty-seven episodes. He ain't fucking with her. He like, no, that's a lot of work. I ain't messing with her. She knows she ain't gonna be there on time. <laughs> ain't gonna be no goddamn lasagna. <laughs> it's gonna be strange niggas uh, exactly. stalking Trent. us online. I hate. I hate low main. <laughs> she give you lasagna and you sit in it, boy. You gonna go crazy. I'm telling you. It's true. <laughs> you gonna go crazy. Yeah, you see her. Track record. She going uh, would, but would you wait six months and go on seven dates with her? I'm not doing, with her? I would not make someone wait six months. Six months, that's a long time. Yeah, your boy's gay. Tell your girl that we say, let him go. Let him throw her back into the pool with us single. No, men. I'm not. And there's nothing wrong with it. Man. You're not allowed to be around any more of my my friends. You can't I, date any of my friends. I'm a yeah. No. I mean No. No. There's a band. No. I, I mean, how many of them have I dated? You tell me. Mm. This is when we stroke his ego and tell him, oh, a lot. Uh, you tell us. Uh, one, of them, one of them doesn't even talk to me anymore because of it. I haven't dated any of your who friends. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Don't say no name. Don't say no name. Oh, I didn't know y'all was friends. Nigga, please. <laughs> this nigga here. Hey, hey, come on over here. Say goodbye. We Man. are. Bye, niggas. Oh, my God. Bye, like, Really? Now he don't know we were friends. <laughs>